What is up everybody? Hello, hello, hello. It is Tuesday and it is wash day. I haven't washed my hair in about a week. Don't worry, that's not disgusting. For all my curly haired people out there, you understand. I mean, I've obviously like co-washed and like done things like that, but I haven't washed, washed my hair in a week. That's why it's been up in a bun for the past two days. So this has been a very highly requested video and I figured I have gotten a little bit of practice. I've kind of started to gain my own routine that I think it's time to show you guys my curly hair routine. How I make my hair curly, how I, um, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Holy crap. Y'all, my brain is fried because I have Portuguese coming in and English and I'm trying to like do both. It's a struggle, but today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I wash my hair, how I make it curly, and how I've made it much curlier and kept it super healthy. My hair used to be really, really unhealthy. You guys have probably seen photos on my Instagram, and I figured it was time to finally make my hair healthy. I wanna grow my hair out really long, hopefully. I stopped using heat for the longest time. I try to keep it not in a scrunchie as much as possible. We're still working on that. Again, I've only been doing this process for less than a year, so I am nowhere near adequate for like telling you guys exactly what you should do, and this is just how I do it. I just wanted to show you guys kind of what has helped me, and yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into it. My hair is a little greasy and just, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, obviously, first off, we start off with taking my hair out. Look at the curls, look at these beauties. So last night, what I did to prep, I actually put this oil in my hair, it's from Monet, it's called the Rejuvenique Oil. I use that to just kind of prep it, to kind of let it like really, really heal and help it a lot. So I just put a bunch of oil in it, a good amount obviously, like not like a crazy amount, but that's why it's like super greasy looking. We're gonna start the shower. To look away from it though. I start by just getting my hair really wet. A lot of people will use like an exfoliator, a brush as an exfoliator. I usually, I am actually buying one right now. So you can exfoliate your head the night before, but for now, it's gonna get all wet. I'm kind of just massaging my head just to kind of activate it or whatever. This is my wall of hair. I will clean up after, don't you worry. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Diva Curl this is the Lopu original, uh, I'll show you guys, for a good amount, a very good amount. I'm just gonna lather, kind of like this with all of it, spread it all around. And I only, I only let it touch my scalp. I don't like bring the rest of my hairs into my head. Maybe I should, I don't really, but this is what I do. And now we mix. Okay, now that it is completely, completely out, I'm gonna take my, again, Diva Curl. I usually apply this much, if not a little less than that, because my hair is still not that long. I kind of comb it through my hair just a little bit, and this is kind of where I detangle my hair and take out all the hair. And then I will take this white tooth comb, which is Raquel's, so thank you, Raquel. And while I'm doing this, I wanna make sure I'm like, it's still pretty gentle and I'm not like ripping at my head. And I'm, this kind of like creates the clumps of the curls for me. And then while I do this, I like to kind of manipulate the curls a little bit just because my hair is not as curly as like I want it to be. Like when it, like down the line as I keep going with this. Then we're going to wash out the hair. And when I do this, I kind of just go like this. For me, I feel like when I do it this way, it just keeps helping like manipulate the curls and make them a little bouncier, I feel like, other than straighter. Look at how cute they are. And now, I'm just stirring up the water for a second. But usually right around now is when I will, I take this. This right here is what is starting to save my hair. So I take the Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. I lather this sucker on. Okay, I've seen some people lately where they like scoop it with their nails, but I don't know, I just like how smooth it looks. So I just go like this and just like scoop it. I'll apply a generous amount, a very, very generous amount. I'm just gonna start at the bottom and scrunching it in. Kind of massaging it into my hair, basically. I usually do keep the water on because my hair dries very fast still. We're still working on repairing it, like I've said. it's. 
it's come a long way, let's just say that, but I keep it on just because you wanna keep, I will always like to have my hair very wet because wet means moisture. So we're gonna turn it back on for a second. And just a little wet. Now that I've done that, I take this little bad boy and I'm going to just stick my head into it, so I'll go like this, and I just put my head over and I stick it in and we're gonna wait 10 minutes. I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Okay, now that I am done rinsing all of that out, I just scrunch out kind of the drippy wet this out of my hair. We're going to, again, turn this off. And I'm gonna take my Heritage by Mindy McKnight um, strength training leave-in conditioner pudding. So I like using this in the shower because it's thicker and uh, since I am repairing my hair right now, I want it to be thicker, the better. I do know that it weighs down your hair and so on those on those hairs that like I find um, straightening out throughout the week, I just put less. So like in the back, this bottom area always straightens out a lot more. I'm gonna lather it in. Can we just, I'm gonna use this. And I'm making sure it doesn't touch my head quite yet, just because I don't want the greasing and like, yeah. And there we go. We got some nice curls forming. So we're gonna get out of the shower and start styling. We are back and I look sopping wet. It's fine. Oh gosh, I feel like now that I'm like starting to film this, I'm like spacing everything I need to do. I'm gonna get my products out. Got some gel, also by Diva Curl. I have this extra leave-in conditioner that sometimes I add. Styler Cream. A must for me. I think that's it right now, basically. So what I usually do, because my hair is not that thick, um, I don't section it off like a lot of people do, but I start off with a curling. I start off with this um, Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. This kind of just adds more moisture, basically. It's thick. It's a thick sucker, but I have found it so helpful. I started recently using it in my routine, and man, does it help. And when I do it, I just like rub like this. I just go up against my hairs, and I just add it to the areas that need a little more moisture, which is usually the front, actually, so I should probably be doing more of the front, so. Oh, gosh, way too much. But you can see, this is kind of what I do. Usually I will like brush and like create curls, but I haven't gotten my brush yet. I am just creating my curls by scrunching, which is how I actually started doing it. Um, but yeah, so you just do this. Okay, everywhere is pretty moisturized. And now, I'm wiping up my hands. Now we are going to take my defining gel. We're gonna start off by going like this. Oh gosh, on my hand. I mean, it's supposed to be on my hand, but like, we don't apply too much because we're gonna be applying a lot of gel, but I use a little now and like flat pancake it like this. And then we are going to flip my head over like this, making sure that like my crown is still visible like so. Go like this and apply more. And I'm just scrunching a bunch because this is how the way that I get my curls as of right now. And so if I want more curls, I'm just gonna continuously be doing this. It's also kind of like aesthetically like pleasing for me. Okay. And now that we've added in all the gel, I'm just gonna start my, I think they call it micro plopping. So I take this microfiber pep towel and just gently take out any excess water basically. And a lot of people do diffuse. I'm trying to use less heat on my hair and so I don't, but that does help a lot with volume. So see, as you can tell, the ends are usually a lot less curly than the front. So I just focus more on those. Okay, there we go. I usually take a cotton shirt, or just a soft, soft shirt. This one's actually really small. I might have to go find a new one, but I take a shirt and then we're gonna plop it. Got the shirt. It's so much warmer in here, wow. And we're going to put it in a towel. Not a towel, in a shirt. Do a little transition, ready? And we're back. Okay, basically what I do is I lay a towel down. I just didn't wanna show that, but I usually lay a towel down. I put my head down right here and I let my curls sit and then I put the this part down here, like over, and then I fold it over and tie it, just like so. We're gonna do this for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how like sopping wet the hair is, I'll do it for a little bit, but this just keeps the moisture in because I live in a very dry place. And then, there we have it. There is my hair routine. Now I'll be showing you guys in a couple days um, what I do for a refresh, so I'll see you guys soon. 
Hello, beautiful people. It is, I think, day four of my wonderful hair. I just put it up because I had to go and clean a bunch, so that's why our hair is like this, but we're gonna refresh it. The curls are looking pretty good. I'm gonna take out my hair, but sometimes if it's really, really not working right, we got some curls down here that are, wait, where do they go? They're just like, what happened to you? Where, where did you go? Sometimes I will like completely wet my hair and I will uh, just get it completely wet and then basically do the process again, kind of, but I will use a foam instead. Or sometimes I'll even use a co-wash and that will, that I use on like day eight or not, or five or six if I'm wanting to go the whole like 10 days without like showering my hair, right? And so sometimes I'll do that. That just helps to like still wash it a little bit, get all the buildup out, but not completely strip your hair of all the oils and everything. It's gaming. So today we don't really need to completely wash it. It's still really nice and not super greasy, but we are going to get some of these top hairs. I usually have struggle with this top layer. It always, ends up a lot less curly, whereas the bottoms are always a lot more defined. Not really sure why, we're still figuring it out on this wonderful journey, but we are going to curl some of these top hairs and then the bottom back. Just the bottom back is a lot longer and so the curls straighten a lot more. I think this is also because I'm not brush, like brushing them and turning them into coils, I kind of just scrunch so they don't have as much of a hold, but we are going to get started with wetting part of my hair. I'm gonna go get the foam real fast and we'll make some magic happen. And we're back. We got the wonderful foam. This is the Diva Curl Frizz Fighting Voluminizing Foam. We're still trying to figure this out, but a lot of people will say that mousse is better or foam. They both have really great purposes, but I think it depends on your hair. Um, foam is a lot lighter, so it's gonna give you a lot more of a light, fluffy look rather than how mousse will, mousse is a little bit thicker and a little more strong holding, I feel like. So I don't have mousse, but we're gonna use this wonderful stuff, but I'm gonna try and like piece off my hair so that I can know which ones I don't need to refresh, but. You know, sometimes I just do the whole thing. <laughs> This looks kind of crazy, but sometimes my whole head just needs it, and so I will do that. You guys are gonna get to see two of me. <laughs> okay, because of just how heavy the hairs are, I'm actually gonna just use, usually I'd use leave-in conditioner, and then this curl, this curl and style milk, this stuff from Shea Moisture, but we're gonna just use this, because it also can count as a like leave-in kind of. It's all refreshed, all nice and clean. Um, on refresh days, I like to use this Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. This is from Shea Moisture. Um, this stuff I've noticed has really, really helped. I apply it like very, I usually don't apply this much, but because my hair's been struggling a little bit, I just add that much and we're good to go. If it's super crunchy, I will end up using a oil, which I have got this Olaplex bonding oil. This is the number seven. So this stuff is really, really great. I'll put it just on my fingertips, rub my fingertips and I'll kind of just go through my roots. And then sometimes I'll put it in my hand, rub it together and just scrunch through pretty quickly. But I don't think I'm gonna need that today. We are all good. Here's the refresh. We're all nice and dandy. It's starting to dry a bit more. It is frizzing a little bit on the top. So if any of you guys have any tips on how to not make it frizzy, that's my biggest trouble always is it's frizzy. Let me know if you guys have any tips for me. But other than that, that is the rest of my hair routine. 